Hi, welcome to the continuation of my polarization. Now, how to produce uh, the polarizer light by using double refraction phenomenon with uh, the construction of a Nikal prism. Let us say what is the principle of Nikal prism. Nikal prism is a uh, designed on the principle of a double refraction phenomenon. Here we are selected either calcite or tourmaline crystal and from there we can produce uh, the polarizer light. Now how it is worked? When an unpolarized light is allowed to pass through the uh, calcite crystal, a double refraction phenomenon is taking place. Uh, in that double refraction phenomenon, a refracted two, among the two refracted rays, uh, one refracted ray is eliminated by total internal reflection and other polarized light is obtained at the, at the other end. This is the working principle of a double refraction phenomenon. Now, this nickel prism is selected with a ratio of a length and breadth in a 3 is to 2 ratio. So, 3 centimeter length and 2 centimeter width. Such a crystal, calcite crystal or tourmaline crystal is selected. And it has a principal axis AC. This is the principal axis EC. The crystal is cut into two parts along the principal axis EC and the corner angle B is now before cutting it is 71 degrees. Now this surface is well polished to get the angle is along 68 degrees. So the angle of crystal at B is changed from 71 to 68 and hence according to that this angle is also changed from 109 to 112 this side. Now this crystal two parts are now pasted by means of Canada balsam at the center. Why we selected Canada balsam only? The Canada balsam has the refractive index between ordinary ray and extraordinary ray. The refractive index of Canada balsam is 1.55. The refractive index of extraordinary ray is 1.65. The refractive index of ordinary ray is 1.49. This is the refractive index in the case of calcite crystal. And now these refractive indices are moderated and useful for elimination of one by means of uh, satisfying the angle of incidence with the critical angle greater than the critical angle thereby one of the light is get total light in the reflection. Here you can see that an unpolarized light is allowed to pass through the crystal and with a certain angle of incidence. If the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle the light is get refracted to two refracted rays as you know that by the phenomenon of double refraction and one is extraordinary ray, another one is ordinary ray. The ordinary ray uh, has more uh, less refractive index than the uh, Canada balsam thereby it get into total internal reflection and extraordinary ray is uh, exit from the crystal and hence we can produce the uh, extraordinary ray. This uh, working of uh, um, production of uh, extraordinary ray, uh, eliminating ordinary ray by means of total internal reflection with uh, um, refractive index calculations uh, as follows. So here you are calculating refractive index ratio mu ordinary to Canada also 1.66 to 1.55 and the critical angle is uh, theta is the critical angle and hence uh, sin theta is equal to 1.66 by 1.55 and there 0 0.093 means uh, uh, we are taking sin inverse of this uh, the critical angle is equal to 69 degrees. So we can send uh, the light ray more than the 69 degrees uh, thereby we can eliminate uh, the ordinary coordinates light. Uh, 
and hence we have extra dipolar light. Uh, the refractive index of calcite ray and refractive index of Canada balsam uh, all are given in this word. And ordinary ray going from denser to rarer medium and why it is uh, the extraordinary ray has uh, less refractive, uh, more refractive index, uh, ordinary ray has more refractive index uh, and it is traveling from denser medium to rarer medium which is the first condition to satisfy total internal reflection. The second condition will uh, have the angle of incidence more than the critical angle is the second condition. That condition is satisfied by setting the light more than 69 degrees. Like that we can get uh, eliminate the ordinary polarized light and we get uh, extraordinary polarized light uh, as our spectrum. This is simply a uh, very useful method to produce the polarized light. This uh, nickel prism is used to produce polarized light hence it is called as a polarizer. If the nickel prism is used to analyze the intensity of polarized light then it is called as an analyzer. So the uses of uh, uh, nickel prism is polarizer and analyzer. Polarizer means which produces polarized light from unpolarized light. The uh, analyzer means which analyze the intensity of polarized light, uh, which direction the polarized light is present that can be analyzed by this uh, nickel prism. So this is the nickel prism and it is a reflection. And on the basis of this nickel prism we can uh, uh, use uh, the uh, construction of half wave plate and a quarter wave plate. Let us see what is meant by half wave plate, what is meant by quarter wave plate. Half wave plate, it is a crystal plane or crystal plate whose thickness is uh, uh, designed in order to provide a phase difference between ordinary and extraordinary rays as uh, lambda by 2. Lambda by 2 is the path difference. Phase difference is equal to pi. So, half wave plate, wave means lambda, half means lambda. By so, a half wave plate is a wave plate which produces a path difference between ordinary and extraordinary ray equal to lambda by 2. Then that plate is called half wave plate. A wave plate whose thickness is designed such that the path difference between ordinary and extraordinary ray is equal to lambda by 4. So, lambda by 4 quarter and lambda by 2 half wave plate. Now the wave plate is this one, this wave plate has a thickness, a particular amount of thickness whose thickness is order of a path difference lambda by 2 half wave plate, path difference lambda by 4 quarter wave plate. That is why the thickness of the half wave plate is given by T is equal to lambda by 2 into mu naught minus mu V. And for the negative crystal mu naught is greater than mu V, that is why you can write like this. For positive crystal mu V is greater than mu naught, hence you can write lambda by 2 into mu minus mu naught for negative crystal, positive crystal. Similarly, the thickness of quarter wave plate is T is equal to lambda by 4 into mu naught minus mu V and is for negative crystal and mu V minus mu naught for the positive crystal. So, these are the wave plates where you can use uh, whenever you want to a certain path difference between uh, um, extraordinary wave and ordinary wave. So, this wave plate can be useful to produce uh, the circularly polarized light and uh, elliptical polarized light. So, to produce elliptical and circular polarized light, we can use this wave plates. Also, we can need uh, a path difference between the polarized lights, then you can use this wave plate. And this is the uh, quarter wave plate and uh, half wave plate. And here there is an extension of uh, wave plate is there. For whatever the path difference you want, that can be produced by means of uh, designing bobinate compensator that is not included in our syllabus. So, we can uh, learn about only half wave plate and quarter wave plate. So, this is the quarter wave plate and the half wave plate. You can just go through the material, we have detailed explanation and uh, everything is there in the material. Okay. Next, coming to the um, Final topic of this uh, polarization, applications of uh, polarization. As you know that already in the introduction we told about uh, the 
nature of wave nature can be defined by means of polar spectra the transverse nature of a light can be defined by means of a polarized light if a longitudinal wave then the intensity is present on the other side by using two plane wave fields two plates and that is polarizer and analyzer both are placed perpendicular to each other if the intensity is present on the other side then the wave is called as a longitudinal wave otherwise it is called as a transverse wave so the wave nature of a polarized light is a um, defined by means of polarizer. second one is sun glasses as you know that uh, the sun glasses uh, are very much useful to reflect the unwanted and the high graded in, in grade uh, gradient light can be eliminated by means of using sun glasses and uh, polarized glasses uh, are very much uh, useful for the drivers at the during the night time as well also fishermen to uh, catch the fishes uh, at the night they can use this uh, uh, sunglasses polarized sunglasses and the next one is geological applications frequently exploited polarized microscopes uh, and where they can be useful to extract uh, where the minerals are present uh, in the earth uh, that can be geological applications are identified next one is chemistry chemical applications to check the um, uh, chirality of the organic compounds uh, polarization is used in infrared spectroscopy so in the infrared spectroscopy polarized light is used for a study of chirality of the organic compounds and some of the organic compounds has a rotation of intensity in the right side rotation of intensity to left side if the rotation of intensity to left side then we go with the rotation of intensity to right side called as a texture fluctuations like that you can have the some organic compounds has a rotation property that can also uh, check it by means of using uh, polarization class and next uh, uh, after, um, the polarized light is used in uh, astronomy astronomy means in the uh, universe there are uh, cosmic rays and microwave with a microwave wave energies uh, and the type of microwave energies uh, and radiations can be identified which are reaching the earth by using this uh, uh, scattering of polarized light so by examining the scattering of polarized light we can take this um, um, uh, finding of uh, various radiations the next one is uh, polarization is used to design 3d movies and uh, 3d glasses as you know that uh, uh, 3d movies are present uh, 3D films, 3D movie films are designed or by means of using polarized lights. The next, radar and communication applications. Some of the radar applications are also using polarized uh, polarized light because of uh, the polarized light has a unique directional intensity. So it has high intensity as well as it rather more distance. Uh, that is why the radar and the communication department can use this uh, polarized light. So material science and navigation. So, in the material science, uh, um, the navigation of uh, various materials, uh, verification of stress and uh, strain relations uh, for mechanical properties. For all this, uh, you can use um, this polarized light. So, these are the few applications, engineering applications uh, of a polarized light. Thank you. Thank you, one and all. And with this, the wave optics is over and get uh, prepared. Thank you. Thank you.